All right, I'm in the airport, flying back to Melbourne. Been a long month in Perth, but it's been an enjoyable one. And uh, I'm just ready to go back home. Home, we just moved to Melbourne a month ago. And I've, I've barely gotten to like really uh, experience the city. My brother's still back there, so he's been he's been doing his thing. And um, yeah, I'm just excited. I'm excited to be back in Melbourne. I hit the ground running. When I go back, the the stand-up shows they continue. They continue. Um, that's what I'm here for all year is to get all the reps I can on stage. So I'm excited to be back. I'm fucking exhausted right now. I only had three hours of sleep, but. Uh, I'm excited for this flight back. So before my flight boards, I'm just sitting here on my phone. I'm texting people back. My number is uh, on the screen here if you want to text me. Um, I just posted on my story on Instagram and I uh, got a lot of people texting me back. So just uh, sending people videos, texting them, saying what up, chatting a little bit. So if you want to text me, text me. My number is right here. I'm gonna put it up right here. So yeah, don't be afraid, all right? A lot of people are like, yo, is this a scam? Yo, is this really your number? Yo, that's not your number, relax. I'm like, yeah, it is my number. Because that's how I roll. I'm here for the fans. I'm here for the community. I'm here to interact with my supporters. And you guys are my supporters. So um, feel free to reach out. I'm always here to chat. Whatever you want to talk about, I got you. All right. Also, if you um, aren't comfortable texting, it's totally cool. But if you want to be notified of my shows, merch drops, special events, newsletters, which, I, which I've been starting to do um, monthly now, sign up to my email list. It's all on my link tree. I'll link it in the description below. And yeah, you can join that email list. So when I come to your city for a stand-up show, you'll be notified first before everyone else. Appreciate you guys. I'm gonna go fly back to Melbourne and get some rest. Tyler Dart, what a name, pal. What's good, Tyler? I love it when people text me like, yo, is this really Nima? No way, bro, it's not Nima. I'll show you right now, it's me. Are you stupid, are you dumb, or both? Yo, yo, Tyler Dirt, what's up, pal? You're such a fucking beauty, pal. You know what I mean? Like, you're just an absolute, just top 10 out of 10 man rocket, all right? Keep it up, and uh, hopefully I'll see you soon in person at one of my shows. Much love, brother. That's how we do it, baby. Just do a quick little video for the kids. It's starting to get full up here, too. People probably think I'm fucking nuts. I do what I gotta do, bruh. Good morning, everyone. This is a final morning call for anyone traveling to London on flight B-862. Uh-oh. Final call. Final call. God damn it. I take the stairs like a peasant. I'm row 24. So I gotta take the stairs to get to the tarmac like a peasant. Which fucking way am I going? Oh, it's over here. Tripping out. Where the fuck am I going? Fucking last. Typical Nima fashion. I'm last to board. Hey, how's it going? Have you got a boarding pass? Yeah, yeah. I'm 24C. How long is this flight? Uh, three hours. 30. Three hours 30? Three hours 20. Three hours 20. It's faster going there than coming yeah, back, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think I, I think it was like four hours on yeah. the way to because I came from Melbourne. Yeah. It was like four hours nearly. Yeah, four hours. I'm right here. Landed safely. Forgot my AirPods, but luckily I went back in time and got it. I got my luggage. I almost forgot my fucking AirPods in the seat on the airplane because I was getting rushed out. I came I was last on the plane because I don't believe in fucking boarding first. I don't give a fuck. You're gonna get a seat either way. You have an assigned seat, why are you going so early? So I had to put my carry-on luggage 10 rows ahead of me. So when I was leaving, getting off, I had to rush to go pick up my fucking luggage from 10 rows deep and then come all the way back. People were staring at me, waiting for me. And I just felt rushed, you know? It was my AirPods case, not a big deal. It's not the end of the world if I lost it, but it's fucking annoying. Like I, I just bought it like fucking a few months ago. So anyways, I had to go all the way back to security clearance, go all the way to the end of the gate, ask someone to go into the plane and get it for me. Luckily, the plane was still there. Someone went, lovely lady, got it for me, and then I went straight back. Just got to Melbourne, and it is noticeably, noticeably colder than Perth. Like, at least 10 degrees colder. So now I'm gonna take the bus home, because any other mode of transportation is absolutely insane prices. So yeah, gonna take the fucking public regional bus like a peasant 
As you can see, no one else is fucking here. All right, so I woke up this morning with throbbing pain in my foot. I'm icing it right now, and I had to go to the hospital, get x-rays done, GP clinic, all those things. I'm saying this because I have a stand-up show later tonight, and I have to go because that's the whole reason why I came to Melbourne in the first place. And it's like, I'm not just gonna miss it because my foot hurts, you know, that's the grind. You know, as an entrepreneur who works for themselves, this is one of those David Goggins moments, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, stay hard. my street right here. Got a little salad place, a nice little coffee shop. It's closed down right now, but a little grocery store. So my ankle's still killing me, but I gotta go to the show. Grind don't stop, baby, all right? I'm here, I'm here to work. I'm here on a mission to better my stand-up. I'll do whatever it takes, all right? I've read enough Goggins books. I've seen enough interviews. I've seen enough videos of him. So my foot's hurting right now. It's hurting like a bitch, but I'm doing my best. Luckily, I just have to hit a 20-minute tram, which is not too bad and then just do my spot and then head back home and then rest see david goggins message is pretty much saying whenever he has a thought deters him from doing something that's the moment you gotta fucking do that thing that's the goggins mode right there that's how you stay hard and that's how you fucking get shit done and that's how you carry the boats that's the difference between someone staying here and someone fucking elevating through the roof and getting success success Funny enough, I just went to my first show that I was supposed to be on tonight in Melbourne, first night back, and it got canceled. And that shit happens a lot in, the, in like the smaller comedy scenes where it's like local like comedy shows. They get canceled all the time because people don't show up. It's in a random fucking attic or a bar, and it's like a free show or a five dollar show. And there's no audience because no one knows how to fucking promote themselves. No one has to no one, no one knows how to use their resources. So, I mean, instead we just, there's four comics. We just sat down and did a joke jam instead, a little workshop with new jokes that we all had. And so at least there's some value there, but now I'm on my way home. Fuck yeah, photographer right here. Oh yeah, what's your, what's your Instagram? Oh yeah, let, let me, let me, let's link up. <laughs> Meeting friends on the train, but that's how we do it, baby. Everyone thinks it's awkward, but I love it. <laughs> another day, another fucking night. Going to a comedy club. Finally settled into Melbourne. It was literally 37 degrees two hours ago. And then an hour later, torrential downpour. Now it's freezing cold. This is exactly what Melbourne weather is. It's kind of like Toronto back home a little bit, except way warmer. Just on the way to a ADR recording for a commercial I filmed a few months ago. They want me to do some voiceovers. Sometimes that happens after they film something. They realize the audio could be better or there could be a funnier line or whatever it is. So I'm going into a studio right now. It's about 7.30 a.m. And uh, it's like a three hour sesh, so. She's an absolute beautician this morning. Sun is shining. I need some fucking coffee though, cause I only got like four or five hours of sleep since I was out so late last night at the comedy show. Still gotta do what I gotta do, bro. Still gotta wake up and get the work done. It is what it is. But it's easy to say that when you actually love something because it's worth fighting for. Otherwise, I would absolutely hate my life. If I only got four or five hours of sleep and I had to go to a job, I fucking hate it. I'm just grateful, bro. I'm grateful. All right, we out here. Can't show you what I'm recording for what, but. Bop, bop, bop. I just came out of this recording session and it's winter. That's cold. I thought I escaped Canada so I could be fucking warm and now I'm freezing to death. I want to go back to Perth where I was, I was melting. Bro, that's why I love Melbourne, bro. You walk anywhere, you walk into a random alleyway here and there's coffee shops right in the corner just hidden. Bearded Brothers. So we're right at home. Secured the coffee bag. It's time to go drink this coffee. It's espresso, bro. Fuck, it's too hot. It's too fucking hot. Bro. Let's taste this coffee. Outside. Like... Damn, that shit's good. Coffee in Melbourne is no joke, bro. Australian coffee, you can't beat it. You cannot beat it. There's a place right beside uh, where we live, our apartment. It's a Thai massage area. Your boy might have to 
take it up, you know? Get a little true Thai massage. Oof. Shit's coursing through my veins, bro. Alright, here's a little tour of the place. Look at the interior, bro. Like, the interior design is so cool. The lighting, you know, the, 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 the ceiling. I like this, this little cement pole in the middle here. This is just the main area to do work. We got a little glass case full of books and everything like that, which is pretty cool. Dope couches, very, very, very cool couches. Comfortable, uh, just like a little chill area, TV. My room is right there. My brother's room is over there. Uh, obviously the kitchen's right there, but this is our podcast studio set up. We're gonna be starting my podcast very soon, so you'll see. And then this is the outside. So the windows are always open because it's so it makes the, the unit so bright. And it's little, it's pretty cool, man. I have a little terrace here. You know, small, but like cute balcony, right? And coffee shops everywhere, restaurants and stuff. A Thai massage right here. You already know your boy's gonna visit that soon. We got this view right here. The lighting is great during the day too. It's pretty dope. And uh, I'll show you a little room tour as well. All right, so this is the room. Look at the door. The door is massive. Open this up, you slide it. It's a sliding door, which is dope. It's pretty dope little setup. The closets are massive. Nice bed, double bed, laundry hamper. Some lights behind that. Look at this shit. This is very interesting, man. The fan is great. And then you open this up and the light immediately turns on. Like how dope is that? So much space, barely even need to use all of it. And then we got another one here, some, some more clothes hung up, some other shit on the top, other drawers that slide out, which is pretty dope, you know? Storage pretty much, all the suitcases because we moved here and uh, we need somewhere to put our shit. No, no, it's the little mirror here too. Hey, what's up guys? Also, shout out to my boy Aaron Lee. He sauced me this cool Hongqing ball. So I might put this as a display in the background of my podcast or might use it as an actual basketball. Yeah, it's a little kitchen area, super dope. The thing I love most about this kitchen area is first of all, the space, but look at the handles. It's like, it's like a belt buckle almost. It's like a, like leather. Like, look at this shit, man. So homey, so cozy. Uh, every wall, there's something. This is my brother's room right here, bathroom, shower, bed, all the stuff. More posters, more life. And this is a fire exit, just in case, because we live in a, it's like an eight story building. Just in case you get locked out, you can enter through this stairwell. Yeah, like you could just fucking enter through here if you wanted. And then this is my bathroom. You just go all the way down. And then, uh, there's a shower here, cool designs, whatever, sink, toilet, nice little poop emoji on both toilets too. We just turn the light on, pretty bright. And then there's an option for heat. You turn that shit on, bro, it actually gets super hot immediately. And then obviously my most favorite part of the whole place the walk-in elevator doors go straight to the apartment. I've always wanted to live in somewhere like this. How cool is that? Let's go, baby. I'm just super grateful to have a place to stay and enjoy it for the whole year that I'm here. A little grocery haul. Nice little bananas. We have some nice white cream. Mango. Oh these man, are, what, what kind of this? These are honey gold, I think. Honey gold? We got more mangoes, but a different variety. Oh, sick. These are the Calypso ones, I think. Calypso. It's all fresh from the market, too. Sausage. Oh, fuck yeah. So this guy, this butcher makes it lamb and beef. Nothing else, like, it's just lamb, beef, and an intestine. Like a casing. Lamb, it's beef, and intestines. No, uh, no spicy. Lamb? It's oh, just wow. missing the fucking sauce. The lamb sows. Oh yeah, top quality, pal. Nice grass-fed lamb, and then we got beef. Nice. Grass-fed beef. Nice four kilos of meat. Oh and yeah, brother. It's one of my favorite eggs. Hens and egg. Certified organic, free range. And then they always say, like, how many hens are in each, like, hectare. So it's like, the lower the number, obviously the more space they all have. Like two of those. 
Buddy, these pineapples. Oh shit. Two bucks each. That's it? Because they're so abundant here. Oh wow. Like That's one, sick. Like one of the cheaper fruits. Hell yeah, brother. And then the real gold. Oh fuck. Bro. This that raw milk. Fuck. Oh my god, unreal, dude. How much is all this? Three thousand dollars. <laughs> All the meat with the sausage, that was like 90 bucks. These are eight each. These are eight each, two bucks. This was like literally 50 cents. Nice. Mangoes were two bucks each. These ones uh, are also two bucks each. And then this was like five, six bucks a kilo. So nice. Whole thing was 150-ish. Like that. That's pretty much good for like a week of food for both of us. All right, I gotta trim my beer a little bit here, so. Look cool trim, man, that's all. Grimmed up, groomed up, ready to go. Uh, that's what that's the best I could do. We got a little espresso here to get us going. I'm about to record a podcast, our very first podcast in Melbourne. It's gonna be the first episode with my brother and I. Just getting set up here. Recording the first ever pod for a stupid Nima. And if it isn't the best day for a potter. Look at that. I think yours seems a little farther away. Who's legends? Hey, Maz. Just finished doing my self tape. Now it's time to record a podcast with my brother, Ashley. Where's this guy? Hey, man. Hey. What's up, man? What you really doing with, man? <laughs> Whoa! Now this is. Yo, you want to take your? Just should take your shoes off at the over here. If you can. Hey, hey, we're here. I'm here to do the podcast in hopes of getting some more followers. I'm trying to get 4,000. <laughs> I'm almost at 4,000 followers. That's a lot, man. Shut up, man. You be going for a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. Let's, let's, let's take that shit, man. <laughs> look, look, look at the instructions. Yeah, clearly I'm mine. It says three to seven. Are you fucked? Wait, which one is this one? Whoa. Is the... See the instructions? Mine, caffeine-free, premium cotton of support. Serving size, and the serving size is pretty soon as 15. So I want to try that one. Sense. Get that work, baby. Yeah, just hold like this. Yeah, just like how you want to hold like a stand up mic or whatever. just whatever. It's just, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you could. Um, if you're gay, it's totally fine. Oh, yeah, baby. New episodes of Curb. Oh, yeah, a nice, well deserved meal after a nice long day of work. I'm writing this letter to address numerous talk about what's probably yeah. in face. And if Susie wants to talk about this, we need to talk about it. Man just got back from rocking. Let's see this grocery haul. Australia. Nice little papaya. Oh, hell yeah. Just navel. How orange these are. That's crowd favorite. Nectarine. Australian oranges. Mmm. That's fucking cold. We juice these. Put them in a little ice. Water Malone. Water Malone. Oh yeah, it's gonna be refreshing on a hot day. But there's more. More mango. Agarunis. Let's go. Pièce de résistance. Shit. Six kilos of grass-fed finished beef. Oh my. Straight from the fucking butchers. Could use this for fucking curls. Curls for the girls. Whatever. Well, that's your uncle and Kargus is your aunt. Eat my ass. Hey. All right, I'm on the way to an open mic. I'm in the middle of the street. Gotta wait for the streetcar to come. 
It'll be my first open mic in Melbourne. Hoping it's on. That would be nice. I'm trying to work on some new material here, so. I'm like, how did you know I needed this, dude? <laughs> Alright, that's good enough. Thanks guys. My name is Neiman S. Appreciate you. Finally got to do a fucking open mic. And you know, it was alright. It's an open mic. Three people sitting there. Everyone's just staring at you, dead face. A couple like nose laughs, little one of those. That's all you need, man. That's how we practice our, our bits. So when we get like real gigs that are paid in front of a real audience, that's how you polish your, your material that way. I'm just happy I get to go home early tonight and fucking sleep early. I've been sleeping late this whole week being here, being out. These shows run for like three hours here. Finally, I finished early for once. It's almost like, it's almost 10, I think. That's early. Oh, it's 9.20. Sick. Get ready for bed, have a nice sleep, wake up in the morning. Back to the daily grind, baby. This is my favorite part of my new apartment here. I walk here, I press the button, the elevator comes, I get in, I click into my unit. It goes straight to my unit. I don't have to fucking close the door or nothing. Oh yeah. That's all you gotta do. Free workout, amino acid. I just gotta chug it. It's the only way. This is horrific. <laughs> I actually might get. Oh, that's terrible. Nice. Wow. <laughs> you dumb bitch. It's not just this. It's, not, it's a combination of this and this. The price you pay to lift some weights. Gym time. Watch out, you're tired. You get a coffee? I got coffee. just walk by 40 construction workers sitting down. It's 9.30 in the morning. And now they're sitting down. But at 6 in the morning, when you're trying to fucking sleep, they're smashing things in your ear. But as soon as it's 9 a.m., nah, nah, let's fucking chill. When everyone's awake, let's let's just chill. So I just weighed myself and I'm about 134.3 kilos now. I've lost 10 pounds, another 10 pounds in the past month. <sighs> My shoulders are so weak, bro. Fall in there, you gotta keep pushing yourself. Keep showing up, that's all that really matters. Learn this trick from Aaron Lynch Potter. Put two ropes on one lat, and if you're trying to do tricep pull downs, it's actually way easier to go all the way down and extend. Just a couple of boys getting gains. Nice. Get my brows done. What's your name? Camila. Camila. God damn. That should look good. Ooh. Got my coffee. Just editing right now. Putting up new podcast clips. Just started my new podcast, A Stupid Nima. If you haven't listened to it yet, go listen to it. Full video and audio on my YouTube channel. First episode was with my brother Omid. We talk about behind the scenes of the Stupid Group Inc. brand and everything like that, being my brother, being my manager. Episode two is up too with Ashley Fizeme, really funny comedian, one of my boys in Australia. We're about to go live, let's do this. Instagram. What's up? What's up, folks? Oh, damn. Turkey, Live from Melbourne. Melbourne, Australia. How you going, Australia? Hey, cheeky cans. All right, yeah, no worries, yeah, no, nah, yeah. Rexa97, I appreciate you. Leo Karakovitsis. Yalla Habibi, is that you, Bobak? La da hata, hi, Nima Jun. Hello, hi. You gonna hook up with my girl, Mitra Jun? She's out there, bro. 
Who the hell is Mitra? Zane G, what's up? Stelsky, Kubi the Kebab. Yes, very nice. Aaron, I am good. How you are doing? Good morning, ATW. I'm, uh, it's not a trip. I'm actually living in Australia for the next year, so. You guys are on the vlog. Say what up to the vlog. Hell yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, so in the city, that's the biggest misconception about Australia. Hi, Melissa. Melissa Beninato. Andiamo. The, the misconception about, about Australia is that there's fucking dangerous venomous snakes just like flying off the walls. That's true in some parts, but where I live right now, where most fucking civilized people live, which is in the cities, in the urban areas, you're not gonna see any of that stuff. It's very, very rare. It's quite rare, actually. It's quite rare, I can't. You want my hat for $10? Are you a stupid? You, this hat, for $10? Are you out of your mind? No, this is a sampler, by the way. Uh, I'm getting them sampled. We're coming out with some proper fucking hats. And I can't wait to show you guys. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that, you know, there's some interest for it. We're going to have a sick drop for everyone soon. I'm really excited to share it with everyone. I hope you guys are interested. Um, if, you know, if everyone wants to support me in my career for, so I can keep making all this content, all I really care about is if you guys show up at my live shows, on my, in my stand-up shows, and if you can, support the merch as well. Uh, but I'm not just like any other creator who just like slaps a fucking logo on a, on a t-shirt or hat and just says buy my shit i want it to be a fashion statement i want people to wear this shit out in public because they want to because it looks good and they feel good in it i don't want it to just be like oh let me just wear this be or like, just buy the hat or something because i want to support nema that's that's nice too but i just i want to take it a step further you know what i mean that's why my brother and i we work very hard our team to make it a, a, almost like a special event now this is the process Right here. Meat. The finished product. Fruit. On the way to two book shows tonight. It's Thursday night. Super excited. It's my first legit shows since coming to melbourne so all i've been thinking about today is how i finally hit under 300 pounds fucking finally since like four years ago since 2019 I haven't hit under 300 so let's go new challenge hit 200. fuck yeah all right that's right baby look at that shit seek discomfort seek this all right yeah, from Canada, that's right. Fucking feeling good. Love it here in Australia. First show I came to do here. I got off stage. Some $590, dude. What is that? Do you guys have a fuck? Do you guys have Medicare? You guys all have that? How much is it for you guys? It's free. Zero. You motherfuckers, bro. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm going to fight you guys. Um, dude, 590. I'm like, yeah, no chance. I guess I'm not, I guess I'm healed. Right? <laughs> Guess no doctor for me today. All right, second mic done. That was fun, man. God, I love comedy. There's five people sitting there staring at you, waiting to get on, but still having fun, man. Brings me back to the old days of when I first started doing stand-up. It's the, it's, the, it's the true grind that I love. The underdog feel, you know? That's what gets me going. I mean, I mean it was standard. Stuff that I haven't seen before. Just came back from swimming, got my little coffee. About to get my boy Dan, new comic I met in town. He's gonna be the third guest on the podcast. Sir. Welcome, Habibi. What's up? Welcome. How are you doing? Welcome to Dubai. Welcome, Welcome to Dubai, <laughs> Habibi. No problem. Oh shit. Okay. I need to scan this. Shit. You're on the vlog, by the way. Huh? Vlog. Hey, what's up? Bro? Yeah. yeah what's, up? what's up? What's up? Welcome to Dubai. Habibi. Welcome to the Habibi. Okay. <laughs> you can pass, man. This guy. David Joggins. Right, let's get this vlog edited, brother. Podcast is done. Now it is time to edit an 11 hour vlog. But I'm starving. <sighs> you want to eat earlier? Another day, another vlog, baby. 
Bobby Rooney's. Free range. Tried a different brand today too. You already know we have to one. fuck around and get the good old pineapple. pineapple. Buddy, what do you know about English cucumber being a dollar each? Who oh, cucumber? What do you think's in here, you idiot? Biltong? No. Nope. Bacon? No. Nope. Sausage? No. Nope. Chicken hunt? Ooh, fig? Oh yeah, bro. They got some nice. This is why Australia's a girl. They have shit like this all year round. Oh wow. Shiny. You know we had to fuck around and get the bananas. One dollar a kilo? Unheard of. What? The baby. Holy shit. Some Bosch pears. Lady. Pretty sure. Yeah. That shit look good, boy. White neck ring. Yeah, buddy. Well, fucking ground beef. Mm -hmm. Aww. Now oh, that's a good haul if you ask me, pal. Surprised they got that copyright. I love this shit. You just do this shit for no reason. <laughs> oh, no, what you say, bitch? Stop playing with me, bitch. Not the day, bitch. You know, not the day. Back at Boneyard with my man Patrick Delacqua. Bellissimo. Bellissimo. Back at it again. Tutto bene. Ci siamo di nuovo. Bravo. Not bad. <laughs> Let's go. This is before and after is coming soon. Not uh, there. Not there. You want a little peroni too? Get a peroni. Tell him to bring out the haircuts. <laughs> bring out all the haircuts. <laughs> Patrick Delacqua. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. Come on, bro. You're full of talent. Give it up for me, my man! Yeah. Thanks, buddy. All right. Yeah. All right. Fuck yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you say? Oh, all right. Yeah. I guess you. Yes, you fucking immigrant. Of course I am. Look at my eyebrows, dude. What the fuck? Of course I am Persian. Come on. You stupid guy. Yeah, yeah, that's my fucking cousin, bro. <laughs> All right, it's not that kind of show. Shut the fuck up. We'll eat some nuts later together. All right. Um, yeah, you fucking wog. No, <laughs> that's cool, man. Yeah, man. Uh, my name is Nima. I'm from Canada. We got any Canadians? All right, cool. All right, nice. That's okay. Huh? So you're not Canadian, though. Is, is everyone fucking Persian tonight? What the hell is it? Wait, is this a surprise party for me? Oh my god, Hamid, how's it going? My uncle! Oh my god! I finally just got off stage, first show back in Melbourne, in front of a packed room, and I crushed it, and it feels great. I needed this win. I needed this W going into the Adelaide Fringe Festival next week. Uh, I have a couple more shows before I leave, but this is a nice little statement set, you know? A nice tight five to seven minutes. Fuck, it feels good. Now it's time to go home on a scooter. Jimmer time. Monday morning. Let's get back to it, baby. I leave to Adelaide in a couple days on Thursday. I'm gonna go hard in the gym these next three days because I don't really have a gym in Adelaide the 10 days I'm gonna be there. there I might have access to one, but if I don't, then I gotta fucking figure out some other ways. All right, Stairmaster, Stairmaster time. Let's fucking do this. It's been a minute since I've done this. Wait, how do you start this shit? My body feels good though after resting for a couple of days. Ready to lift some heavy weights. Ooh. Something like a Steve Angelo set to get me through a workout. Lawyers that we got recommended to, I didn't even like scream them. Right. 
I was like, oh, they they did their stuff, and I know them, and so yeah. he'll probably do a good job. And then at the end of the process, right. the Aussie X is good, man. I'm Aussie, I'm trying, man. I'm trying uh, to be like you, Ash Williams. Yeah, mate. Yeah, buddy. Oh, it's the vlog. Likes the vlog. Hey, how are you going, bro? Yeah. Hope you're well. What you, on the vlog. That's it, baby. We're about to record episode four of the Stupid Nima podcast. You're lucky number four. Is there such a thing as lucky number four? I don't know. No, there is isn't. It's the Aussie lucky number four. <laughs> I, don't, I don't mind number four. I think four is underrated. I think four doesn't get enough publicity. So we'll hey. pump up number four. Let's go, baby. Woo! 7.30 in the morning. My apartment is right down there. This construction is blasting right now. They don't give a fuck. I'm on the way to do an ADR recording for the movie I shot almost two years ago. They're almost done finishing the movie. I just need to do some voiceover recordings to touch, touch it up. It's schizophrenic weather. Four seasons, one day. Just like back home in Canada. Right now it's freezing, it's about 12 degrees. It's gonna be about 16 degrees in an hour, and then 20 degrees an hour after that. And then 30 degrees peak time and sunny. So what are you supposed to wear? Not too many people out yet for the work hours. Oh, that doesn't work. That's gay. Okay. Oh, so you got, no, you got. No, you got no money on it. You need to top it off. Uh -huh. Just got off the train, now I gotta go find where the fuck this place is. All done? All Gucci? Alright. Yeah, thanks a lot. I appreciate you guys. I mean, um, uh, do you think this will be like the last one? <laughs> no worries. Right. And then book the, book the studio in a different country so I can fly there this time. <laughs> I just finished the ADR session. Now I'm gonna head back home. Another hour and a half tram ride. But I'm excited because Amir K, my boy Amir K, fantastic comedian from LA. He's on tour with Theo Vaughn and they're in town in Melbourne doing a few shows. Uh, so he's gonna come by. We're gonna film a podcast session together, which is exciting. And then at night, um, we're all going to the show to check it out. So, I mean, Amir's on the show. He's open, he's the opener, but um, yeah, we're all gonna, my brother and I, we're gonna go to the show as well. Waiting for, waiting for the bus, waiting for the bus, waiting for the bus. Ah, 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 yeah. Right now I'm, I'm, I'm with Amir K. And, you know, you can hear if you talk I from- I can hear myself talking. Hi, we are welcoming to each other to the United States of America, living in Australia by way of... Very nice, Metro booming in the house. By way of Toronto. Very, it's very nice. You just did a podcast for one hour and a half oh of my bullshitting. God, bullshitting in this loft. <laughs> no, no, I'm here visiting... Yeah, man, he's, uh, he's here in Oz. In Oz. Um, we just did a podcast. Uh, he's opening for uh, on, with, with Theo Vaughn throughout all of Australia, and we're here right now. Fucking, we didn't see each other in LA, but we see each other in Melbourne. What are the chances? So you know what I'm saying? On an island somewhere long ago. Long. And this guy don't even recognize him because he got so fucking skinny, man. You know, work on it, man. The, the boobies are slowly going down. Oh, your face is just thin. Yeah, shit. yeah. Everything, the gut's still there, though, you know? Nah, well, it takes time. It takes very time, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to, I'm gonna get Jack, bro, in the get next Jack, year. Bro. Me and him both, we're gonna. Some food. Oh right, mate! It's look, look, nice. look at that fucking shit. Right where we belong in the cleanest rack, forty. Oh up, man, man, that's a good steal. Like oh, yeah, that's mate. Like, this is more my style. Like, looks like a kit. Oh right. yeah, that's not a bad shit. Yeah, except for right. fucking triple X large. Oh, it's too big, mate. Too easy. Easy hands. Easy hands. He's big hands. <laughs> big hands. Oh, the handle works now. Yeah, no. Oh shit, it's not bad. Oh wow. I mean, yeah, I could see it's like in 20 more pounds, I could probably fit comfortably in. Play with some of the biggest acts in the world. You're absolutely gonna love it. So what you need to do is start your hands up here, everyone. So, absolutely raise the roof, everyone. Even louder. Please have a stage. 
Thanks, man. Nice to meet you. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you saw that. I was like, nice to meet you, bro. <laughs> We've never even seen each other. So it's so, it's so funny. He's like, he's the biggest act in the world. What was his name, Melissa? Uh, <laughs> I'm the biggest act in Altona. That's what I'm big in. I'm also big in other places too. I just got off stage, uh, ate the shit, and now it's time to go home and sleep because I have to go to Adelaide tomorrow afternoon. Okay, so apparently I'm in a sketchy neighborhood. I'm in a sketchy area, so, and I was told to be, I was told to be careful walking these streets, especially at night. But, brother, I grew up in Scarborough, Ontario. I think I'll be fucking fine. In worst case, I'll just act like a crackhead and they won't come to near me. Or maybe they will. Like, oh my god, I want to lost. So it's different parents to have a birthday. But he's angry on the phone right now. But he's rattled. Don't want to annoy that guy. Literally a dead town, bro. So old. They still have these phones here? Say a word. I'm in the train station. 